Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new Gentech PC product showcase. In today's full length featured review, we'll be covering the new MSI Stealth 15M. We'll start things off with our unboxing and as we proceed through the review, we'll go all the way through all the features and performance and get all the way down to our disassembly. If you've never taken a look at or never heard of an MSI Stealth before, what we're looking at is a middle of the line do it all laptop model. It's priced where it can be afforded by anyone who really needs a nice laptop and it can easily be placed as a high-end business laptop or a middle-of-the-line gaming laptop. Priority number one for the MSI Stealth is definitely going to be the size and the weight. It's made to be very thin and very light so it's easy to carry around, but that doesn't stop it from being packed with all the higher end performance parts necessary to make it very successful as a light gaming laptop or a really high-end business laptop. So with our introductions aside, it's time to start getting into what you're going to receive if you order one of these inside of your box. Now it will come double boxed and that's going to protect it from any kind of shipping damage and it also does hide what you're getting shipped to you so that nobody sees you have a brand new laptop sitting on your front porch. The power supply that it comes with is rated for 150 watts and you can see it's just a standard single connector power supply. And in the next bag you're going to have the power cable to attach your power supply to your main power at home or at work. And of course that cable will be different depending on your specific region. And our next inbox accessory is going to be an important one. So don't throw this one away or lose it. This is going to be a USB to ethernet adapter. We're at the point where the laptop has gotten thin and light enough that it doesn't really have the space for a built-in ethernet port. So if you need a hardwired connection, this is how you're going to achieve that. This is a full blown gigabit connection with a USB 3 connection on the PC side. So there's no loss in speed. It's just a matter of adding extra space for all the hardware on the laptop. Now with our accessories out of the way, here's the actual laptop itself. Foam protection on the outside so it can't get shocked and smashed during shipment and then the plastic cover over the top of that to keep it from getting wet or scratched. And then you can see there's even an additional plastic coating on top of the laptop itself, so it's very well protected. And the very last thing you'll find in the box is just going to be your product information pamphlet. This will have warranty information, and of course drivers are now downloaded from their online website. Moving right along into our size and weight benchmarks, with coins for scale you can see that less than one quarter of total thickness at the most thick part of the laptop really does showcase that this was designed to be as thin and light as possible. So we do have a ruler for more accurate measurements as well. You can see it's barely over a half inch in the front side. And when we get the laptop on a scale you can see 3 pounds and 10 ounces for the laptop weight when it's by itself. And when you throw in the power adapter, you're at 4 pounds and 12 ounces, so well under 5 pounds for full carry weight makes this very easy to take around with you. Now with measurements and weight out of the way, it's time to power on the machine and take a first look at it. You can see we have a bottom right hand sticker badge, which has some of the highlighted features such as the audio, the cooler boost, Thunderbolt. You'll notice the keyboard is a low profile chiclet style and it is backlit. It does only light up in blue, so this is not an RGB backlit keyboard. The integrated arrow keys and an oversized touchpad with the integrated left and right clicks. Lots of ventilation at the top here for your speaker systems and to aid with the cooling system. A very low profile screen with an integrated HD webcam and microphone. And this is a 144Hz refresh rate screen, so it's great for gaming. As far as the major components, it is using NVIDIA's RTX 2060, so it's a nice middle-of-the-line GPU, and it is one of the first laptops on the market with the 11th generation Tiger Lake CPU from Intel. Overall, it comes together as a pretty aesthetically pleasing package. Again, easy to get around. It would be appropriate both at home or at work. So for demonstration purposes, here's a quick spin all the way around so you can see every angle of the laptop. And then we'll zoom in for a closer look and take a look at our connectivity options. So 
Starting with the left hand side of the laptop as you face it, we have four cutouts for ventilation. This will be air intake. Then we have our DC power port where we'll charge and run the laptop off of mains power, a micro SD card reader, a USB 3.2 port, and a 3.5 millimeter connection that is a combo jack for both headphones and microphones and a single connection. On the right hand side of the laptop, we'll have our display port style Thunderbolt connection, another USB 3.2 port, and an HDMI full size output followed by more cutouts for ventilation. Now moving right along the precursor to our benchmarking section, let's take a look at the device manager and look at our hardware. We do have the NVIDIA RTX 2060 for our video card. You also have the brand new Wi-Fi 6 from Intel for your wireless adapter and the brand new 11th generation Core i7 from Intel. Some of the other features you won't see listed in here would be your 512 gigabyte PCI Express NVMe SSD, which is gonna give you great storage. And we'll go take a look at our screen. It is a 1920 by 1080 p screen as far as resolution, but it does have a 144 hertz refresh rate. And before we run our benchmarks, let's also take a much closer look at our CPU Z and GPU Z information for the video card and processor. So here's all the information available to us through CPU Z on the hardware. And of course, we also want to take a look at our current temperature readings because we want a baseline of current temperatures versus our maximum temperatures once we start running our benchmarks. So on the CPU, you can see 54 to 55 degrees Celsius is the highest we've achieved so far. And on the NVIDIA video card, currently the maximum temperature has been 45 degrees Celsius. And finally, just a quick peek at the current thermal dissipation of heat on the unit using an infrared thermometer camera. Noise levels are a big point of focus on the MSI Stealth laptops. They are designed to run very quiet, even under heavy load. So here are the current baseline readings while the system's idle, and it's virtually silent right now. And we'll see how this does once we come back and run our benchmarks. Let's move over into our benchmarking section of the review, and we'll kick off 3D Mark Fire Strike. We'll come back and check our maximum temperatures when it's done, and while it's running, let's check out our noise levels. So you can see that the noise levels have gone up appropriately, but even at this point with the system running a benchmark, the system is incredibly quiet. What'll be interesting to see is when the benchmarks are complete, if these quiet temperatures translate into higher temperatures because they didn't want the fans to run very fast, or if there's actually adequate cooling. With another quick look at our thermals using the infrared camera, you can see the outside temperatures are about the same and the heat is still very much concentrated to the center rear, which is the best place possible because that's the least likely spot for your hands to be contacting that heat. And some very nice thermal imaging here as far as seeing where the exhaust is pushing out all the heat from the laptop. Really nice bright hot spots and you can see where the heat on the table has actually started coming up as well. All right, Fire Strike has now completed its run and we're checking in with our scores and other results on temperatures. 
12,700 points for the actual score on Firestrike is great. And let's go take a look at all of our temperature readings. All right, so CPU temperatures. As we take a closer look at core temp, you can see that not every core was the same. Some of them were definitely more highly loaded than others, 92 degrees Celsius being the highest reading that we have. That's actually still really great for such a thin and light laptop. We normally see 90 degrees Celsius on average for some of these laptops. Now, as far as our GPU, we have some very surprising results here. The highest temperature we reached was 66 degrees Celsius, which is considered to be an extremely cool temperature as far as maximum thermal readings. Now to finish running all of the benchmarks that we normally run, here is Cinebench R15. Okay, with Cinebench R15 wrapping up, we've got our scores 151.43 frames per second for OpenGL and our CPU at 1,025 Cinebench points. All right, welcome to the final portion of our review, and that's going to be the system disassembly. So you can see there's going to be lots of screws to remove from the bottom panel to get this apart. So I'll go ahead and take the time to remove those now. So while there are a lot of screws to remove, the good news is they all are the same length, so you don't have to worry about getting them confused when you reassemble the system. The entire bottom cover will come off, and it'll reveal mostly the cooling fans, the battery, and a protective covering over the motherboard. Over in the back corner, you're going to see the Intel AX201. This is your wireless unit that does give you the brand new Wi-Fi 6 capabilities, so this is very future-proof as far as wireless connectivity. And down below front and center is the main battery, and this is a full-size 52.4 watt-hour battery. Just to the left of the battery, you're going to find your main storage. This is your NVMe solid-state disk. This particular one is made by Kingston. And you also see some of the below chassis speakers. Moving further along to the disassembly, now things start to get complicated. Here is a quick glance at the motherboard from both sides. You can see there's really nothing to access on the back side. And on the front side, this is where you're going to have your system RAM and most of your connections. Also, with our cooling solution removed, you can get a view of the bare GPU and CPU, which are part of the motherboard, so they're not removable or upgradable. And that pretty much would be the full teardown of the MSI Stealth 15M. And it also is going to be the end of our review. We hope that you were able to enjoy the video today and found it both entertaining and educational. If you had any questions about this particular laptop model, hopefully the video answered those questions for you. But if it didn't, feel free to ask any additional questions down below in the comment section so we can answer those for you and everybody else. Down in the video description, you'll find the product page link where you can find the current pricing and availability. We'll look at the full product specs and photography, so that's a great supplement to this video. And don't forget that if you do need any one-on-one -on -one help, you can always reach out to us by phone or email. We'll be more than happy to get with you and help you out with whatever questions you have. So once again, we just want to remind you that this was Gentech PC, and we'll see you next time.